we have Pranav Anand, the leader from under 16 years old. You just won today, congratulations. I want to ask you if you made a special uh, training for this specific tournament. Yeah, so uh, me and my coach, uh, his name is Saravanan Venkatachalam. He's also, he's also from India, of course. So it, the training mainly consisted on, online, of course, because you know I couldn't travel to his place. And it was mainly based on calculation and um, a bit of openings also. I think um, like calculation was pretty much the main, main component in the whole training. And it's more of solving and you know gradual improvement. And yeah, I think that was pretty much the main thing uh, we put it. Can you tell us something about the game? Yeah, today's game was very interesting. I think like the opening was I caught him out prepared in this line. I mean, honestly, I just could remember to castle and then that's all. I just knew I had to break e5 at some point and you know, it's maybe around equal, but then like I sat on the board and I thought, you know, okay, I'm supposed to play e5, but it's not coming anywhere. And then I spent like 20 minutes thinking everywhere like do I get it, do I not get it, but then I just couldn't and I think I played slowly. I guess at some point he was supposed to go c5 and then you know maybe it's it's fine for him or better for him like then he allowed c5 break and after which I just thought I'm taking over now because you know it was just like this very strong bishop on f6 and e4 knight e6 everything is coming so I think at some point he cracked later on maybe it was not too bad for him but I think he cracked under time pressure also later yeah you say you played the uh, slow but you won pretty fast yeah <laughs> yeah so I think the game ended in some tactics with e3 I mean first I thought for queen a2 I take knight before and I just win it like hands down but then I see this queen e2 trick like after rook d8 of course and then I thought okay I mean I'm winning this ending after 30 moves maybe, I mean, shall, shall we try to attack? And then I saw E3 and I said, okay, it's done. So yeah, it was, it was a nice game, but I mean, still I have one more round tomorrow, which like there's only half point lead I heard. So I mean, I'll try to focus on that and also try to, let's see if I can win tomorrow also. Let's, I hope so. Dora and Charis from Germany, they are twins and they both won today. First of all, welcome to Romania. Thank you. Uh, can you tell me something about the game? It was a long game today or a short one? Um, it was short, I think. Um, it was um, interesting. I think my um, my opponent was um, in the opening better. But still you managed to win. Yes. <laughs> and for you, how was the game? Uh, it was a bit longer. Uh, I saw that you finished first and you won and you said I wait for my sister to see what she's going to do. Uh, I wish you both good luck tomorrow. Thank you. And uh, I hope to see you again in some other competitions here in Romania. Laurent Freit, the chairman of the Appeals Commission and also the trainer, the main trainer from the seminar for the arbiters. Can you tell us what were your conclusions after this competition? Yes, first of all, uh, in terms of competition there were no appeals, so this is a very good sign that the Arbiters team made a great job. And uh, I hope it continues till tomorrow for the uh, end of the competition. Uh, about the seminar, we had a group of six very motivated uh, Romanian Arbiters. Uh, they learned a lot of things, they were very active. And I think this is really a great opportunity in such an event uh, to organize a seminar so that they can continue learning, improving their skills and also then in the afternoon practice in, in the World Championship. So really that was a great time with the local arbiters. Uh, we also practiced in the playing hall which they really liked because this is a way for them to have like a real life uh, application of the, the laws of chess and yes, I hope that gave them a lot of motivation to continue their uh, mission as arbiters in chess events. Yes, I'm sure they had a lot to learn from this experience and from your personal experience, of course. Mr. Dinioan Nicola, can you tell us about your involvement in this competition as a pairings officer arbiter? Uh, yes, after so many tournaments uh, where uh, I was in the team of arbiters, uh, being a pairings officer was a new challenge for me, uh, with as much uh, responsibility as the previous uh, ones. So we had to enter uh, live the results for over 200 uh, 
boards uh, which were not in uh, direct uh, transmission and uh, at the end of the round uh, we had uh, to check uh, very carefully the results with uh, the help of the sector arbiters in the team uh, led by the well-known and appreciated uh, Greek arbiter Mr. Takis Nikolopoulos. After this, uh, this uh, checking we uh, were making the drawing of lots and uh, then uh, put them online on uh, chess results uh, as well as on the official site.